Good morning, my friends. It is Thursday of the 14th week of Ordinary Time, and uh, we continue in the story of Joseph and his brothers. And the line that really struck me uh, today is the, the last line of the first reading, Genesis uh, chapter 45, verse 5. It was really for the sake of saving lives that God sent me here ahead of you. This is Joseph speaking to his brothers. His brothers are, are feeling uh, remorse, repentance for selling him into slavery and wishing it had never happened. But Joseph sees the providence of God. It was really for the sake of saving lives that God sent me here ahead of you. I'm sure Jesus would say the same thing. You know, uh, as we as we look at, contemplate Jesus on the crucifix, we say, oh my gosh, that my sins sent you there. And Jesus might say these these same words to us that Joseph said, it's really for the sake of saving lives that God sent me here ahead of you. With that in mind, we let's look at this first reading. Um, you know, so it talks about uh, Judah, one of Joseph's brothers, uh, is talking to, to Joseph. Uh, he doesn't know that he's talking to Joseph. And it says... Uh, Joseph could no longer control himself in the presence of all of his intended. So he sent everybody out of the room. It was just he and his brothers there left. And then he said he just started sobbing. His sobs were so loud that the Egyptians heard him. And he says to his brothers, I am Joseph. Um, is my father still in good health? You can imagine he doesn't have any news of, of his father, Jacob, or also known as Israel. Uh, his brothers were dumbfounded, like, we thought you were dead, and uh, here you're, you're saving our lives. He, it reiterates, come closer to me. I am your brother Joseph, whom you sold into Egypt, but now do not be distressed. You can hear Jesus saying these words to us as well. Do not reproach yourselves for having sold me here. Uh, almost like this confession that when we come to Jesus with repentant hearts and say, Lord, I'm sorry uh, for nailing you to the cross. It is really for the sake of saving lives that God sent me here ahead of you. Do we trust God's providence that even when things seem um, impossible or out of line, that God is at work uh, around us? And just on that same line in, in, the, in the Gospels, we hear Jesus commissioning the 12 to go out and Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. So to trust me. Don't worry about a second tunic. Don't worry about gold and silver. Um, go out there and do, do my work and, and trust me. Trust that even when things don't seem to be going well, uh, I am with you. I have been, I am, and I always will be. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your providence, for always being with us. We thank you for these words from Joseph. It is really for the sake of saving lives that God sent me here ahead of you. He saw the big picture. We thank you for your son, Jesus, who trusted his father's will to go to the cross. And when it seemed like all was over, it was actually when all was beginning. Help us to trust you, Lord. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone, and we will see you tomorrow.